Dear colleagues, this is the research team from China Academy of Railway Sciences. It is our honor to present research results on the design method of subgrade structure for ballast list track in China's high speed railway. This presentation consists of five parts. First, introduction. In recent years, we have made great progress in high-speed railway construction. By the end of 2021, over 40,000 kilometers of high-speed lines have been put into operation. Subgrade is an important part of high-speed railway infrastructure. In general, there are three types of design methods of subgrade. First, deformation control of subgrade surface. This is the case for Japan, where the dynamic deformation of subgrade surface should be less than 2.5 mm. Second, deformation modulus EV2 control of subgrade surface. This is the case for Germany. They proposed the corresponding control value of EV2. Third, strength control of lower filler of subgrade. In the United States, the United Kingdom, and other countries, it is required that the stress acting on the lower filler should be less than its allowable stress. This method is suitable for heavy haul railway and conventional railway. The second part is the load distribution model of ballast lease track subgrade. In China, the railway subgrade is designed with the method of controlling both the dynamic deformation of subgrade surface and dynamic strain of the bottom layer. To calculate the dynamic deformation and the dynamic strain, we need first to establish the simplified dynamic load distribution model. This graph shows the dynamic load distribution model of ballast list track. For ballast list track, the loading-unloading process of dynamic stress of subgrade surface is caused by the joint action of two axles of a bogey frame. Therefore, the train load can be regarded as the superposition of two concentrated forces. After passing through the rail, fastener, and tra track plate, each load transferred to the top surface of the supporting layer, or base plate, is distributed in a triangle along the longitudinal direction on the top surface of the supporting layer or base plate. Through this superposition, the load has an M-shaped distribution. The transverse distribution length is the width of the track slab BG, and the distribution mode is each distribution on both sides, with no force in the middle. The figure shows the load distribution model of ballast list track subgrade. Based on the Bosnesk equation and the modulus and thickness equivalent assumption of Audemark, taking CRH2 high speed train as an example, whose static axle load is 14 tons, the maximum measured dynamic stress on the subgrade surface of CRTS1 double block ballast list track is 18.158 kPa and the measured dynamic stress of subgrade surface is 18.07 kPa which is very close to the calculation result. Moreover, the longitudinal distribution length of dynamic stress of ballast list track subgrade obtained by numerical simulation and theoretical calculation is 8.0 to 8.8 .8 meters. The deviation of the dynamic stress amplitude of the subgrade surface obtained by the two methods is acceptable. This verifies the dynamic load distribution model of the ballast list track subgrade and the theoretical calculation method of dynamic stress proposed in this research. So it can be used in the design of ballast list track subgrade structure. 
The third part is the working modulus of subgrade failure. Regarding the subgrade S elastoma, according to the circular load plate formula of the elastic half space, we can get the relationship between E30, K30, and G30. The dynamic modulus strain relationship model proposed by Hardin is the most widely used model. Based on our measured data and the existing theories, we get the relationship curve between the modulus and strain, as shown in the figure. Based on the relationship between the dynamic elastic modulus and K30, we can determine that the working modulus of the surface layer of subgrade is 360 MPa, and that of the bottom layer of subgrade is 230 MPa. According to the low distribution model and the Bosnesque equation, the maximum calculated dynamic deformation of subgrade surface is 0.098 mm, which is very close to the merit maximum value of 0.09 mm. It shows that the dynamic deformation of subgrade can also be calculated and determined by Bosnesk equation based on the low distribution model of the top surface of supporting layer or base plate. Part 4 is the design method of balanced least track subgrade structure. According to our previous study, the protection of lower filler of subgrade is essential. Thus, for the design of subgrade structure, the target is to control the strain of the bottom layer of subgrade bed within the allowable value. So, we put forward the design control guidelines as follows. First, the surface dynamic deformation of ballast least track subgrade should be less than 0.22 mm. Second, the maximum strain of the surface of the bottom layer should be less than the strain value corresponding to, G to GD max 0.51. Third, the average strain should be less than the strain value corresponding to G to GD max 0.65. The ballast least track subgrade design process are as follows. First, determine the load distribution model. Second, determine the working modulus of each structural layer filler. Third, calculate the dynamic strain and deformation of subgrade. Fourth, evaluate whether the dynamic strain and deformation meet control criteria. If so, the design is completed. Otherwise, increase the thickness of subgrade and recalculate. We select one typical subgrade structure in China for verification. It can be seen from the calculation results that the dynamic deformation of the subgrade is less than the limit value of 0.22 mm, and the average and maximum strain of the bottom layer of the subgrade is less than the limit value. This structure is in line with the design requirements of ballast list track subgrade. Part 5. Prospects In the future, we will focus on the correlation between subgrade compaction and dynamic design. We will establish the relationships among the dynamic characteristics of failure construction failure dynamic feedback, and the dynamic response of subgrade structure and a train load. We will use the parameters of continuous detection of compaction vibration to guide the future subgrade design. Thank you for your attention.